Hi, welcome to another exciting episode of Lens Lens. I am Lynn. This episode is going to be about pedophiles because I've had my first personal experience with one. He is 23 year old Eric Massingill. And this be he. To um, say that he's aptly named would be to insult douches everywhere. This guy has really played a large role in my life the last couple of days, but um, that's nothing compared to what he did with the little girl who was the daughter of the girlfriend he was living with over at these apartments where Jesse and her best friend play all the time. Jesse's best friend lives over there and uh, this girl followed him around a lot and she was really aggravating to be honest with you. Um, she uh, always wanted to fidget with something on my bicycle and one day uh, the, she let the headlamps burn all day. It was daylight. She couldn't tell that they were on so the batteries burned out but you know aggravating kids are everywhere and, and that I've recounted every second I ever uh, watched, listened to this girl, and there was nothing to indicate that that her her mother's boyfriend was was doing anything to her. Her mother did also get arrested for failure to protect. She, I was told by the detective that she was simply naive. She was not necessarily uh, evil-minded and that there were things she should have called and told them before they went out there on Thursday and arrested him. Took his computer. He had pictures. That's where my daughter, Jessie, comes in. He had a picture of her in her bathing suit. When he took it, he took it telling her that he was going to show it to his girlfriend or something. So that's part of a six counts of child pornography. He's being held on a $100,000 bond. The girlfriend's already bonded out and is back over there. The daughter, the victim, the little girl, five years old, is with her biological father. I uh, was told by the uh, Child Advocacy Center worker that she's fine. He was over here today and Actually, I, I don't think I imagined this. He touched my thigh in a way that I don't think he had to have done it accidentally, if you follow my drift, right here on this couch, right here, sitting right here. And then he called again. He's a black fella, married, uh, with the hand that he touched my thigh with, had a wedding band on it. He wears some bling. Uh, he called back tonight after 8 p.m. to tell me that he was going to have to come by here for me to sign something. I said, you mean you to tell me you're coming back here tonight? Oh, oh, well, we can do it tomorrow. So. Thank you, uh, Eric Massengill, for causing these inconveniences and and in and, and this time, Jessie wants nothing other than to just be enjoying her summer. The last thing she wanted to do this morning was go to the Child Advocacy Center for a two-hour forensic uh, interrogation interview. Uh, but when you have uh, two detectives standing at your front door uh, telling you that Eric says that... Uh, he told them enough that, that they felt that Jesse needed this exam, so saying no is, is just not an option, but uh, I'm glad that we went and were able to officialize the fact that, that Jesse never had any physical contact with him. You know, this is the only cat I've ever cared for. 
and I'm really not all that crazy about her, uh, but she's so interesting. She just got a new flea collar. She has such a soft, silky coat, and she has the most beautiful eyes. Her name is Monkey. And Monkey is all cat. She's finicky and sophisticated and all those things. This this flea collar is is definitely um, not something she she was glad to get. She just has too much dignity for that. Thanks for coming by, Monkey. Okay, I guess I'm done talking about the pedophile, and um, I'll give you a follow-up. This guy's being open and honest, so there's it, it won't go to trial or anything like that. It's something that I can talk about. I think I made it through this episode successfully without saying the name of the little girl or even the name of the girlfriend. So I'll uh, check it to make sure maybe. But thanks for watching my show, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time on The Lens. I'm Lynn, and good night.